The Independence Day is coming, so let's create something special that you definitely like. How about a string art today? First we need to upload a reference image. For this open a view window and select reference image. Choose image you are going to draw. In my case that is a statue of liberty image. I'll make it bigger so it will be easier to use. And just close the panel now. First we need to create a counter of the statue and the stars. For this we are going to use a 3D sketch tool to encircle the counter and then we'll use follow pass tool to make nails. Select 3D sketch and choose top view and auto graphic projection to make a workspace look like a canvas for perfect drawing. Now select the line brush and start drawing. Your drawing doesn't have to be perfect, because strings will be placed at a random places afterwards. Now select the statue and start drawing the stars, each one separately. Don't forget to unselect your finished stars before starting new ones. Let's move on to the other side, completing the same moves. Now let's draw the border of the image. For this, choose a rectangular brush and start drawing from one of the angles. Then move to one of the other angles and click left mouse button. Then to other angles and click finalize. Unselect the profile and go back to perspective projection. Now close this panel and turn off the reference image. Next we need to create nails and the base. Click on shapes and select shape generator. Set the following values. 20 to number of ages top radius 6 and bottom also and leave the height at 75. Next add a new segment, change height to 5 and top radius 12. Click plus button again and set top radius 15 this time. So we have one object but we need three of them because we have nails of different sizes. At highest will be placed around the statue, middle one will be around the stars and the lowest on the frame. So now we are creating another one, changing radiuses to 6, number of ages 20 and height 50. Click plus button and change height to 5 and both radiuses to 6. Last segment needs top radius 15. Move it to the left and the second object is ready. Third object will have radiuses 
6, number of ages 20 and height 25. Add segment with changing height to 5 and top radius to 12. And the third element with top radius 15. Then click apply. Select all three and move them here so they won't distract us. Now select the highest one and the statue and turn on Follow Pass to from Tool dropdown. This tool helps us arrange selected objects along the selected profile. Click Preview to see what will it look like and let's make more of them using number of copies. Do the same with all stars using a middle nail. Set number of copies to 5. So let's see what we have now. As I hope you understand, uh, we would need to delete some of them later. But first let's create the frame. So do the same moves, setting number of copies to 23. And click finalize. That's it. Now let's fix it so that everything is perfect. As you can see, some nails don't fit well. So select the first one and delete. Use move tool to move it somewhere else. Use MK to activate move tool quicker. Here we have four nails to fix. I'll delete three of them and place fours in the center. Same here with those two. Delete one and move the second. Here is the same situation and also here. Repeat the same actions with all nails that aren't placed correct. Let's move to the Statue of Liberty. Pay attention on its crown. I'll move this one here and now with Copy of Sets tool make some more copies. First copy place here and the second here. This on the edge and the other one in the way it will have one nail on each angle and one in the place to which all strings can be reached. Last thing we need to create is a board, but first we need to remove all unneeded sketches, select them and press the delete button. Now create a cube with height 10 and change sizes of X and Z to 900.
click invert selection so all nails will be chosen. We need to move them upper on value 10. So select all objects now and use merge in utility section to make one solid object. Last step is polygonal mesh fixing. For this we will use a magic fix with value 250. This tool is also needed to add a little support here, so during printing nothing will break. And that's it. Hope you enjoyed the process. Happy 4th July!